Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. That's good. How was school? Was it good? Was it bad? <clears throat> was it okay? Fun. It was fine. That's good. And did you have any homework? Yes. Okay, what homework did you have? There you go, sorry, I forgot to put my camera on. Hey, what homework did you have? Did you have homework for English? Miss. Math. Okay, good. Did you finish your homework? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's see what we are doing today. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, good. Let's start. Okay. Lesson eight, the hottest and the coldest place. Okay, do you know what this is? Elephant. 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 Okay. Do you know what this is? Fur. 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 Very good. What is this? Ice. Ice. Good. And what is this? It's Feelings. Okay. okay, it's an owl. Clever. So clever. Okay, they call owls clever. They say they are smart. Okay, so what is this word? Clever. Very good. Okay. Structure, superlative, short adjective. Okay, so now we are going to learn how words change. Okay, so let me make a blank space for us. Give me a moment. Okay. There we go. So, <clears throat> what is an adjective? Okay. An adjective is a describing word. It tells us about something. Okay. So an adjective, describing word, tells us about something. Okay. So words like slow, fast, tall, large, nice, hungry, happy, funny, those are describing words. So if I say I see a dog, okay, all we know is there is a dog. But if I say I see a big brown dog, we know that the dog is big and it's brown. So big and brown are, what is big and brown? They are adjectives. Good. Okay. 
I'm going to just put ADJ. ADJ means adjective. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, very good. So, sometimes adjectives will change if we are comparing something. Do you know what compare means? Would you like help or do you know what compare means? Okay. Do you have a brother or sister? No. No. Okay. Then let's talk about your dad. Who is taller, bigger, you or your dad? Okay, remember, tall is how big you are. So if I am here and you are here, I am taller than you because you are here. So you are shorter. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So... Who is taller, you or your father, your dad? Is your father taller than you? Okay, who is that? Tallest, okay. So, you'll say... My dad is taller than he. He is the tallest. Okay. So you are saying my dad is taller. So tall will change to taller. And then the superlative means the biggest or the best or the, the last one in the list is the tallest, okay? So if the word is a short adjective, like slow, fast, tall, we usually add an EST, okay? So slowest, fastest, tallest, um, smartest, Brightest. Okay, words like that. If the word ends in an E, we just add an ST, not an EST. Because look here. Smartest has no E, so we have to add the E. But a word like large. Okay, large already has an E. So all we do is we add an ST. Okay, so if I say, um, yeah, I can't think of a word now that ends in an E. I'll think of one now. Okay. Then, if the word ends in a consonant and a Y, it becomes, the Y will change to I, and it becomes E-S-T. So what happens to the Y? I. Yes, Y changes to I. Good. 
So if we have hungry, hungry, it changes to hungry if with an I. Okay, do you see? This word over here is not right. There is no Y in superlative. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, good. So a consonant, do you know what a consonant is? Would you like help? Yes. Okay. A consonant is every letter in the alphabet besides A, E, I, O, U. Okay. So I'll show you here. We have, I'm going to make it a bit smaller so that we can fit it onto the, the page. Okay, so we have vowel. Your vowel is A, P, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Okay, do you see that? Can you see? Yes. Good. So then, consonant. Okay. Would be B, 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 uh, F, G, H, J, K, L. Just give me a minute, I will be done now. And then sometimes why? Okay. Sorry, that took a bit long. Okay. So your consonants, I saw consonants wrong. It's C O N S O N. But your consonants are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, T, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, and sometimes Y. Y is both. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So here, with the Y and the I, if it ends in a consonant, so R, P, and N is consonant. <clears throat> then it changes to I. Okay. If it ends in a vowel, plus a consonant. So double the consonant plus EST. So if you look here, it ends in a R, P, and N is consonant. But if it ends in a I, A, and F, that's a vowel. So we double the consonant. So big... <laughs> So big will become bigger and then biggest. Okay, so it still gets the EST, but we double that letter. So here it's one B, 
but then we go to B. With that, it'll be one C and then batter. And then that's it. So we double the consonant. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, the past simple with B. Positive with B. Okay, so if we say in the future tense, we have three tenses. Do you know what they are? Okay, we have past tense, which means it happened before. We have present tense, which means it's happening now. And then we have future tense, which means it will happen. Okay, do you see that? Yes. Okay, do you understand what it means? You can say yes or no. Yes. Okay, good. Well done. Okay, so can you give me a past tense sentence? Okay. Let me. Okay. You can say he will kick the ball. He is kicking. Oh, sorry. I was wrong. I made a mistake. Please just hold on. Okay, so past tense means it already happened. So you say she kicked the ball. Present tense is happening now. She is kicking the ball. Future tense will happen. So she will kick the ball. Okay, do you see how it changes for each ten? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so now when they say the past ten simple with you will say she will be told. Now, if we change that to past tense, okay, hold on, let me just change it quickly. I will be called. If you want to change it to past tense, it's I was told. And then future. Uh, and present tense, I am cold. So positive with B changes to was. The B over here. Hold on. Okay, you see the B. It will change to I was cold or 
if you're talking about somebody else, you were cold. Okay. And then negative with B is when you add the word not. So negative means no, I'm not cold, I'm not sleepy, I'm not tired, I'm not on the school bus. But positive means yes, you are. So positive means yes, I am tired, yes, I am sleepy, or yes, I am on the school bus. Okay, do you understand how this works? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, find sentence pairs about different kinds of weather. Okay, so here we have to make pairs. So here's an example. Wind. I make the leaves fall from the trees. You want me when you go sailing. Okay, so here. Um, okay, so we use that one. Get another color. We use that one. Um, and we use that one. Because when it's windy, the leaves fall off the trees and it helps to push the boat. Okay. So, what other weather can you think of and which two goes with that weather? Okay, let's start with this one here. What is white? What type of weather is white? Cloudy. Okay, not cloudy. What about snow? Okay, so let's try. Snow. I'm white. Okay, what other sentence goes with snow? I only fall on really, really cold days. Very good. I only fall on really, really cold days. Very good. Okay. Now the next one. Let's talk about a rainbow. Okay. What can you tell me about a rainbow? When you see me, you can see stars too. Okay, do you see a rainbow at night? No, a rainbow is only around if the sun is in the sky. So if there's no sun, you can't see a rainbow. Can you try again? Look carefully to see my seven colors. Yes, good. Look carefully to see my seven colors. And what else?
Okay, remember I said a rainbow you can only see if there is sun. So what about this sentence? You only see me when the sun's behind you. Good. You only see me when the sun is behind you. Very good. Okay, next one. Let's talk about the sun. I'm hot, big, and strong. Good. I'm hot, big, and round. And what's the next one? I come out when you go to bed. No, when you go to sleep, is the sun in the sky? When you see me, you can see stars too. No, stars you see at night when it's dark. Do you see the sun at night? No. Okay, then what does this one say? No, you can't see me at night. Good, very good. Well done. Ah, sorry. That one we didn't do yet. This one we did. Okay, so we have four left. What does this say? I come from gray clouds. Good. What does this say? I come out when you go to bed. Yes, and this one? I can dance drinks from dry to meat. To wet. To wet. Okay, and what does this say? When you see me, you can see stars too. Good, so what do you think they are talking about? I come from gray clouds. What comes from gray clouds? I can change things from dry to wet. Yes, good. But what is it? What type <coughs> of weather is it? It is rain. Okay, so that is rain. Now, what do you think is the last two? Moon. The moon, very good. So moon. I come out. So bed. And when you see me, you can see God. Okay, so let's see. Okay.
okay, we remember what we wrote. Rain, I can change things from dry to wet. Yes, because rain makes you wet. And they come from grey clouds. Rainbow, you only see me when the sun is behind you. Moon, I come out when you go to bed. When you see me, you can see stars too. Sun, I'm hot, big and round. No, you can't see me at night. Okay, the only one they forgot is this one here. This one goes for rainbow. Okay, well done. Right. Okay. Now, can you read this? Fly a kite. Okay. Is it right to fly a kite at night? <laughs> okay. So what can we do outside in windy weather? We can fly a kite. Okay. Right. Kite. Night. Right. Okay. It doesn't help if I ask you to spell it and the word is there. Okay, so let's try it this way. Can you spell right? Can you spell right? There's a lot of ice in Antarctica. Okay. It, it's the coldest place in the world. Very good. So we use the word coldest. <clears throat> okay. Read number two and fill in number two for me. The you look at the no. picture, the picture tells us. The wettest. See, it's raining. Rain makes you wet. So the Wettest town is in India. It rains there a lot. Okay, read number three for me. Africa. <clears throat> Africa is the hottest. Very good. Part, part of the world. Yes. I live in Africa, and at the moment, it is very, very hot. <laughs> okay, what is number four? The windiest. Very good. The windiest place. Place is Antarctica to the wind there. It's really strong. Very good. And then number five. In Arizona, it's always dry and sunny. It's the sunniest place the, you see. Okay, driest. Sunniest does work. You would have gotten confused because it says dry and sunny. So driest means it's very hot and it doesn't rain often. And then hottest just as uh, sunniest means the sun is always out. Okay, very good. I think we can finish there for today. Okay, I will see you again on Wednesday. Okay.
Goodbye. Goodbye.